For 10 days, he passed atmospheric nitrogen back and forth between two gas holders, here labelled A and B. The gas passed through tube G, which contained the red-hot magnesium to absorb the nitrogen. The gas also passed through tube E, which contained red-hot copper to absorb any residual oxygen, and red-hot copper oxide to oxidise any hydrocarbons or dust to carbon dioxide and water. The carbon dioxide would then be absorbed in tubes F and I, which contained a mixture of soda, or sodium hydroxide, and lime, or calcium oxide, both of which are basic, so they would react with the acidic carbon dioxide. Any water would be absorbed in tubes D and H, which contained phosphorus pentoxide, a powerful drying agent. By the end of the 10 days, most of the atmospheric nitrogen had been absorbed along with any residual gases that were known to exist at the time. The apparatus was modified for a smaller volume of gas and the experiment was continued for a few more days. Finally, after around two weeks, Ramsey was left with a tiny volume of gas which was around 1 80th of the volume of the atmospheric nitrogen that he started with, 